I got them walking on their toes. Like, click, 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 click. I got them walking on their toes. Oh, wow. Such a wonderful feeling to have everything completed. Um, all of the inspections, all of the finals, every aspect of the building has been covered. And for them to issue a license is like the most rewarding feeling. I mean, it's a very daunting task doing a factory of this capacity and dealing with all of the regulations and the restrictions and the, you know, what they need, what want you to abide by. It keeps you in a, a state of like constant, like doubting yourself because you're unsure of what others want or how they're going to perceive it. So you're constantly doubting yourself. So to have that burden off of my shoulder is a total relief. It's a blessing. The most challenging part of the entire process is the bureaucracy that you have to go through the red tape. Um, there's a lot. Um, you're, no one is prepared for that. It's something that you just deal with. And now that it's over, you're, I'm just so relieved. I mean, it's very frustrating when you think you've done something right and you have someone come in and they tell you um, that's incorrect and you ask them what's incorrect and it's a technicality. Uh, we really didn't think that it was going to happen that way, but now that it has, where do we go from now? And then now you're putting yourself at their mercy. So like getting through the bureaucracy and getting through all the red tape and all the regulations and restrictions was like the most frustrating part because I don't have a lot of experience when it comes to doing an entire building as far as being a project manager. So taking on that challenge and it being my first challenge and it being a challenge that meant so much to me personally, um, getting past that and just dealing with all of that um, was like very frustrating, but it's rewarding at the same time because now I'm done. And now I look back on the knowledge and experience that I have from going through that, enduring that, and uh, I'm a better person at the end of the day. The product will stand out because we only want the best genetics and we're going to put it together. If this building has been put together to grow this marijuana in the optimum environment. I made sure that the environment is conducive to growing marijuana and any hindrance that could come along the way, I kind of thought of ahead of time. And so that even if we do encounter a situation where we need more dehumidification, I've already prepped that. I've already got that set up so that it can be easily installed. Everything is already ran, pipe work is run. So just doing the redundancy of it all um, really, you know what I mean? So the redundancies built into the building help keep the uh, product from ever getting into a stressed out situation or having anything come into the environment that will be a hindrance to the optimum growth of the plant. Um, our due diligence with making sure that we're not just a factory as far as we're just going to be producing it and not caring about the product. like. We've made sure that we put extra time within the formula so that if something takes a couple of days in it to come out, then it's okay. If something needs a little bit more time in any phase of the growth process, it's okay. Because it's all about making sure that we give the best medicine to the public. And as long as that stays at the forefront of our main objective is the medicine and to make sure that the medicine is clean and to make sure that the medicine is good and that it's cured properly and it's flushed properly and it's grown under the right environment. That is the most important thing to G5. And that's what we will maintain and that's what we strive for. That's what we want to put out to the public. So that's our goal. And um, I made sure that I designed the, the building to fulfill that goal. The politically correct answer is, um, I would have, I would have probably tried to enjoy the process more than it, than I did. Stress is, I mean, stress is a hell of a drug. I know they say cocaine is a hell of a drug, but stress is a hell of a drug. I mean, and um, I didn't really get to enjoy any of this. I mean, I got to the end, I, I did it all. And at the end, I was just relieved more than I was happy. Like, so if I could go back, I would try to enjoy the process. I mean, I, I, we accomplished something that was incredible. I mean, something historic. And 
it was a very frustrating task and I didn't really get a chance to enjoy it. So I would work on my Larry Smith and I would become just a more enjoyable person and take in the experience with happiness and warmth like Larry does. <laughs> Hey, walking in the club like click, 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 click. Slim way to